if we take a look at the algorithm again, we look at it with a three digit by three digit number. We add in a couple extra steps. We have to put in more placeholders. When I would set this up, I would do it as 572 times 321. Doesn't matter which one is on the top, which one is on the bottom. I would do my um, same pattern, start off with this number, um, multiply it by the 2, multiply it by the 70, multiply it by the 500. Then I would multiply this 20 times the 2, times the 70, times the 500. And then I multiply the 300 times the 2, times the 70, times the 500. Um, to start off with, uh, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 70 is 70, and 1 times 500 is 500. So I would do that, nice and, nice and uh, easy there for that first one. Now, because I'm multiplying this, um, this is actually 20 times that number. I'm going to put in my placeholder, um, and we're going to go right through. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 7 is 14, so put my 4 there, carry up my 1 to add it to this product. 2 times 500 is 1,000, and 1,000 plus 1,000 is 2,000. Uh, when we get to this 3 here, we're going to have to add in two placeholders because this is a 300. So I'm just holding that place value of that 300 there. Three time, uh, 300 times 2 is 600. 300 times 70 um, is 2,100. Uh, no, 300 times 70 is... We we'll carry the two up there. Um, it would be 21,000. Um, 21, that's it. And then we would do 300 times 500 um, and add two to that. So we would actually get 17. And if I were to add all those together at the end, add all my products together, get one, carry the one, 16, carry the one, four, seven. So my uh, answer for a three-digit problem would be 1,000, 174,612.